All right, hello, my name is A.G. Ford, and I am the illustrator of Time for Bed Old House with Candlewick Press, and I'm here to show you my studio. All right, so I'll take you in. It's in my house, open up the doors here, and as you can see, got my little art space here, okay? So, let's show you a little bit around. I'll make a little round. So, right here, on this wall, and sometimes I'll post stuff, like if I'm in the middle, this is another project I'm working on, but usually I start off with a bunch of thumbnails, and then as I work get into the work, I'll kind of post these drawings up a little bit larger, so I can kind of see how my page turns are working, and uh, see how the book would look, you know, as a whole. Uh, and so that's kind of in the pro progress of uh, process of a book right now. But I'll come over here, and then I got my little wall where I'll post postcards. If someone sends me a postcard or something like that, or my son might do a drawing for me, and I'll post that up on the wall there. So there's one little picture. It says by Maddox. Uh, that's my son drew me. So he's already picking up those those uh, artistic capabilities. So that's pretty cool to see. Um, and then I got my little supply wall over here. So I just got some water uh, watercolor tape. I got some watercolors in here, just some a lot of throwaways. And then here's like some nicer watercolors uh, that I use and colored pencils, some spray paint, some sponges. And then I have my cutting table. So uh, I have my cutting table, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just lay out all the different projects that I have and kind of keep them and, you know, kind of spaced out. And that way I can see, you know, oh, I got a deadline here. I'll work on that project and I'll push this one to the side and I'll work on a different project. So as you can see, i um, working on a few here. Here's a project. Um, here's some Magic Treehouse stuff. Uh, that's a cover that I just finished. And then here's another picture book that I'm working on. And you can see like little layouts and thumbnails, which everything I do, especially with book work, starts out with thumbnails, which mean just little small sketches um, to kind of get out my thought process in, in terms of uh, different compositions, how I might, um, uh, you know, uh, lay out a book, whether, you know, it be the angles or uh, whether characters in the foreground or the background or whether I'm showing a landscape or a close-up or whatever it may be, use those things to work out in thumbnails. Because the last thing you want to do is work really hard on this sketch and take hours and hours and hours on it. And then ultimately you find out that was a better composition. So uh, as you can see right there, that's just me working on a bunch of thumbnails. So they're really, really small drawings. All right, so another thing, the place where I spend most of my time uh, is gonna be right over here on this drawing table here, okay? Um, so I got all kind of lights. Big lights here, lamp that I can kind of move around. Um, and then of course, I'm facing the windows. And usually, I'm down here in Texas, so it's usually really nice and bright. Today's actually a gloomy day. We've been having a lot of those days here in, um, in the spring. So it's all good, more water for the grass and plants and everything, so. Um, but if you look on my table, I've got some of the spot illustrations that are from Time for bed, old house, okay? So a lot of times when I'm doing spot illustrations, I'll kind of put them all on one page and just for consistency, I can kind of work on a few at the same time, okay? Same thing here. Oop. Sorry about that, that might happen a couple more times. All right, but um, here's again, here's some more spot illustrations. And these are all done in watercolor. So we can see Isaac, Let's zoom in there. You can see some of the, see some of the brush strokes and paint work there. But a lot of times I work a little bit larger. So I usually work at about 150% um, spots and then they kind of size down and tighten down. So if you look really closely in the book, you'll be able to see some of those brush strokes. But um, yeah, that's what I do for those. 
Um, let's see, let's put this to the side. And then I'll show you over here, and I'll sit down in my chair. I spend a lot of time here too. Um, and here's some, some of the final full page spreads. I'll go over those. This is where Isaac and Grandpa are sleeping. It's one of the last spreads in the book. But as you can see, these are some of the paintings. And what you'll notice is some of these colors will be a little different in the final book because once I'm done, sometimes I'll take these into Photoshop and flip those around and I'll tinker with the color a little bit. Especially this one. This one's much different in the book. But we can get in close and see some of those brush strokes on Isaac. Here's the cover. Which I really like. I was really happy with the cover. And then here's another one. We'll get really close in on that. But all these paintings are done in watercolor. Um, all right, and then I'll take you over to here. And then I got my desk. This is, I'm here a lot too. So if I wanna make any edits or anything like that, um, I can make those here. And just like, uh, let's see. So I'll go into and I'll see my images. And I can go in, once they're scanned in, I can make different edits to these. And as you can see, I have a bunch of notes here. Um, that's just if someone emails me and I say, okay, I need to make sure I remember that, I'll write that down. Um, then over here, got my fan, got my yoga mat. That's when I take my little breaks. And of course, I got a healthy collection of books. And so a lot of, a lot of children's books, so that's a lot of my research. And then of course, uh, I have my my um, adult books, which honestly, I do a lot of audio books right now. Um, but I read too, um, the old fashioned way. And that's about it. Um, so this is my, my studio. This is where I get a lot of my work done. And I spend a lot of time in here, but it's pretty fun. I love being an illustrator. I loved illustrating this book. Um, it was really fun. And I hope you all enjoy it. And I even have the cover. Whoop. Time for Bed Old House with Candlewick Press. All right. Well, thank y'all for joining me in my studio. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. All right. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.